Today I want to show you the MGK BMXing person fly through text effect. But first of all, big shout out to Prophetless who created this video, which helped me in creating my video. But for now, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve, cut out your clip on which you want to apply this effect, so in my case, that's my clip, and go with this clip selected into Fusion. Alright, now press Shift and Space by the same time and search for Camera Tracker. Select Camera Tracker and press Add. Then go into the inspector, check bidirectional tracking and hit the auto track button. After that go to solve and hit the solve button. Now your average solve error should be about 1 or 2 pixels. But in my case I just got 1.5 pixels so I just hit this button. Then I hit delete. So for now I just deleted the bad tracking points. And again I hit the solve button. Ok, so if your average solve error is lower than 1 pixels then you are done. Alright, so make sure this number is below 1. Then go to export, open 3D scene transform and go to unaligned. Ok, now just select the position for the text with the tracking points. So I select this tracking point and I press this set from selection button. Then I go to the beginning of my clip and I select some green dots for orientation. Then again I go some frames to the right and I press Ctrl and the left mouse button to add some more points. And again I go some frames to the right, I add some more points by pressing Ctrl and the left mouse button. Ok, so if you are done, then again hit this set from selection button and then go back to aligned. Now you can export your tracking results. So I just change the position of these nodes a little bit. And then just unselect this arrow and connect the camera tracker with the media out node. Ok, so if you have done this, then go to this merge 3D node and hit this left view button. And this is more important for us, so I drag it to the right. So now you just need to search for a nice steady tracking point. And I think in my case I will use this tracking point. So I press right click, I go to point cloud 3D 1 and then I copy the position of this tracking point. Ok, so now just add a 3D text into the node field and connect this 3D text with the merge node. Then adjust your 3D text to your liking. And then go to transform, right click translation and select paste translate group settings. Of course you can change your text a little bit if you want to. And now you can see your text is very sticky and is placed on one spot in your scene. So lastly I just unselect this ground plane arrow and I go back into the edit page. Here I press alt and the left mouse button to duplicate my clip. Again I go back into fusion, then I just delete all this stuff. And now I just need to cut out my biker. So I press shift and space by the same time and I search for magic mask. And if you don't got the studio version, then watch this video in which I will show you how to rotoscope a person for free. But in this case I will use the studio version, so I just go to a frame in which I can see most of my biker and I mask out the biker. Then I hit this little button to track my masking. So I think that's fine. And I go to match and increase the blur a little bit. And with this I go back into the edit page. Here I go to the beginning of my clip, I go to composite and I change the opacity to 0. Then I go some frames to the right, I create a keyframe at the opacity value. Then I go 4 frames to the right by pressing the right arrow button 4 times and I set the opacity value to 100. So now it looks like this. Ok, I think that's it. So I hope this video has helped you, if so then leave a like or a sub to my channel. Go check the first link in the description to get some nice effects and transitions. And thanks to all supporters, thanks Prophetless for this nice video, stay creative and bye.